how to do the cosmic hug. And we're going to combine this with the Ho'oponopono. And that's a very powerful practice. It's based as a Hawaiian ritual, ancient Hawaiian practice. It really helps with self-compassion, forgiveness. It can help you do a lot with inner child healing, beginning healing from shame, from heartbreak, to start healing from the mother-father wounds. And I just want you to think of a time in your life when you felt you know, shame or hurt or betrayed or not seen or appreciated, or you have regret over something. And it might be something that still kind of haunts you in a way, something that you can go back and still has a really uncomfortable feeling for you. And, or maybe a time where you wish someone would have been there for you and could have supported you and you felt very alone or very afraid or scared, you know, all of those things. So what you're going to want to do is pick a version of you on the earliest that you can remember on your timeline, like from your earliest memory of uh, experience that's been painful, where you need to give yourself some love and forgiveness and compassion. And you're going to do this practice and hold that vision of that, that you and that period of time. And then each time you do this, you can go and then go, you know, a different point in your timeline and keep healing these different experiences that you've had. It's a very powerful practice. I recommend the first time you do this, do it at nighttime um, when you have some time alone because it can bring forth tears and have you cry. Crying is, you know, we have to feel it to heal it and feeling these emotions is the first step. And feeling that pain, that sadness or grief or loss or whatever is coming up for you and just allow yourself to feel that and then give yourself a lot of compassion from that moment in time that happened. Now with the Ho'oponopono, it is based on these four um, different sayings and saying this, I am sorry, please forgive me. You know, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Something in that way. Okay. So it's these four things and I love Insight Timer has a song that's six minutes long that continues saying these things to some really beautiful music. If you don't want to get that, you can just in your mind say these four sentences to yourself as a mantra. And what's really profound about this is it'll so kind of become like a wormhole. It'll get stuck in your head a little bit. But a lot of times we can have negative thought patterns or negative things we would hear our parents say that are in our subconscious playing in our mind that can limit us. And so if we have this playing in our mind, that is really going to be empowering. When you do this, you're going to do the cosmic hug. And the cosmic hug is based on, if you know about acupressure, acupuncture, we have these different centers and meridians on our bodies and our chakras and our energy centers. And so this is going to impact your chakra and your center with your heart chakra and your throat chakra as well, and those meridians that are associated with that. And you're just going to get your hands in and put them like this with the thumbs up. And it reminds me of like uh, Mary Catherine on Saturday Night Live, how she would like put her hands in her armpits and then smell them. <laughs> it just it reminds me of that. So, uh, but what you're going to do is when you're going to do this practice, you're going to be laying down and then you're going to put your hands under your arm, your axillary area with your thumbs up here. So your thumbs, my hair is a little bit in the way, but your thumbs are actually, we do this so you can see a little better. Your thumbs are actually going along the meridians close to like your throat chakra. And then this is um, giving you the pressure points for your heart chakra. And then you're just giving yourself this hug. So you're just, you know, giving some TLC to yourself. And just as important as taking nice deep breaths in, it's important in this that you fully exhale. And it's part of like letting everything go, right? We're letting this emotion go. We're letting those bad feelings go. And we're bringing a lot of love and support and compassion for ourselves and for that version of ourselves in that timeline. You're going to lay there and you'll do this twice a day. And you'll lay there and just listen to it. And then close your eyes because where your attention goes, energy flows. I want you to focus on yourself inward. And you're just going to close your eyes and allow this to play like on Insight Timer. The link will be shared here with you as well. I'll share that too. And you can just play that and listen to this again twice a day. Now, sometimes people will have some resistance to this and be like, I don't think that I need to do that, but you need to keep doing it. Trust me. And sometimes it can be uncomfortable because the emotions do come up. But again, we have to feel it to heal it. So don't judge yourself for having emotions. It's, it's important that we cry, that we let these things, you know, come out through us or they stay stuck inside of our bodies. And then that's when we have dis-ease, like disease, like because we're having discomfort in our body. So it's important that we process these things. So what you're going to do is just do the Ho'oponopono, listen to that while doing the cosmic hug, taking deep breaths in, but then fully exhaling and just lay there and let the words just kind of wash over you and holding your mind's eye that version of you in that time. And give yourself that love. So this is such a beautiful practice. Um, my clients that can do this, and I did this myself, have amazing breakthroughs. I look forward to hearing how this impacts your life in so many profound ways. And again, sometimes we resist something because it can be the breakthrough for us. 
So just stick with it. Just keep going, even though you're like, oh, this isn't doing anything. Because at first time you might, first you might not feel anything. It might take a, it might take some time. So give yourself this time. This is a beautiful practice, and I look forward to hearing from you how this, how this impacts your life. Listening.